They're nearly all men, and nearly all of them are quite young men. And they cross the English Channel in dinghies. They pay criminal traffickers to bring them into the United Kingdom. And we pick them up and put them in four-star hotels. We give them free medical care, free dental care. We give them nearly 40 quid a week spending money. But that's not enough. No, we've known for a long time that many of these people are working illegally in the economy for cash at the same time as we're paying for them to live here. The trouble is proving these things. Well, this report from Mark White, GB News's home and security editor, proves a case in Aldershot absolutely conclusively. Have a look at this. Using the cover of a local park, we're secretly filming this car wash in the centre of Aldershot, where some of the town's residents have told us asylum seekers are working illegally. Bikes, we got bikes. Yeah, I think this is them. I think I see the green bike. Over recent days, those locals have filmed and photographed a group of young men as they cycle between the car wash and this hotel about a mile away. The hotel is currently closed to the public as it's now being used as asylum seeker accommodation. Filmed working at the car wash, this employee, the residents say, is one of those asylum seekers. As they claim is this young man, another who can clearly be seen cleaning the inside of cars. Along with this third man, who they also say is an asylum seeker. Here, all three are getting on their bikes at the end of a shift, before being filmed again, arriving back at the hotel. Where have you come from? Please Suddenly, two of the men decide to confront the locals who've been filming them. All day, what do you do in the daytime? What do you do? You working? You work? No. You work? You have a job? No, no job. Comparing images, the man here in the hoodie is very clearly the same man pictured working at the car wash. He is, we're told, an Iraqi national. And the other asylum seeker confronting local residents is also one of the car wash workers. As we arrived to film the car wash ourselves, both men were back at work. The man in the white cap is this man who confronted those outside the hotel. And here's the Iraqi asylum seeker with the jet washer, clearly the same man outside the hotel in the hoodie. We decided to confront them with our evidence. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Can you speak to us? Uh, can you tell us we're from GB News? Are you an asylum seeker? Sorry, this boss. Are you an asylum seeker? This boss. Sorry. You've been filmed going into. You've been filmed going into the asylum seeker hotel. I'm little Spanish. But you're from Iraq, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It is currently illegal for an asylum seeker to work, as the state provides their accommodation food and even a small weekly allowance. Time for a chat with the manager here. So you're the manager? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that this man was an asylum seeker? No, I didn't, know. You didn't? No. Did you not ask for any proof of his former... We well, said uh, I'm going to bring... And his sort of immigration status? He said I'm going to bring it next week. He said that? Yeah. So yes, what are you going to do now, knowing that this man's an asylum seeker? It's not allowed to work anymore, so I didn't yeah. know. Do you know that there are other people that we've filmed here who are also asylum seekers? I don't know about this. Will you also be taking action to ensure of that course, they don't Of course, straight away, immediately. This is just one car wash in one town, but we've been told of many such instances of asylum seekers working illegally in the black economy. And clearly, the Inland Revenue never sees any of the money they earn. We've passed on our evidence to the Home Office. Mark White, GB News, Aldershot. Well, there we are. Absolutely bang to rights and a great piece of work from Mark White and his team. And I know this makes people who are out there working and paying their taxes very, very angry indeed, as I think it should. But let me ask you, is this widespread? Farage at gbnews.uk. Is this happening in your area? And it could, you know, not just car washes, it could be delivery drivers, it could be many, many other sectors. Well, I wonder, 
what the Home Office are actually going to do about this, because I know that Mark White and the team have written to them. Mark joins me now. Mark, this is... I mean, clearly Border Force have done their stuff. This is now completely a Home Office responsibility. Although, of course, the running of the hotels is then contracted out to a series of companies, isn't it? It is, yes. Uh, companies are contracted to negotiate with hotel groups and chains to see if they would like to hand over their hotel effectively for a year, 18 months, and they're guaranteed full occupancy. Many hotel chains who've been struggling for business uh, pre-pandemic pandemic and even now have decided to take that money offer. Takes these hotels out of commission mm. for a long time, deprives the community of that, and also leads to some tensions in these communities. But if I'm one of those firms, a Circo, Clear Springs, whatever it is, and I've got the contract for this hotel, I then provide the staff for this hotel. Surely there's a responsibility on these companies that are making vast amounts of money to make sure the people in those hotels are not acting illegally. I think that's a very good point, actually. I was remarking to my team when we were filming at this particular hotel in Aldershot mm. that the security personnel there, contracted out by the Home Office, were very exercised about us being there oh. and filming, oh, ensuring yeah. that yeah. we were not doing anything that would be uh, in any way a threat to the asylum seekers there. But that same level of curiosity did not seem to extend <laughs> to where the asylum seekers were heading on their bikes each day and then coming back at the end of clearly what was a full shift. Now, in terms of what the Home Office are doing, this falls under the remit of immigration enforcement. And to be fair to them, they're doing a lot, Nigel. Last year, they carried out some 4,000 raids on business premises where they had information that people okay. were working yeah, illegally. Yeah. And we're told from senior sources that actually a significant and an increasing proportion of those illegal workers are asylum seekers. And that should be no surprise either, because the fact is the number of asylum seekers coming here is growing significantly each year, uh, 46,000 uh, almost that uh, came across last year. And this year already, we've got uh, that uh, 7,000 mark. Uh, that figure has just been passed today. today. 250 odd, we're told, from our producer down in Kent, uh, came across in small boats today. So that'll be adding to the strain already on the asylum system. It'll be putting more people out there in communities across England and Wales. And some of those, at least, according to our sources, will find their way... Well despite being given these allowances and hotel and food accommodation. <laughs> I suspect, I yeah. suspect, Mark, it's rather a lot, but, you know, yeah. we, we can't prove that. This we have proved. But I think we need to dig deeper. If the Home Office give out these huge contracts worth hundreds of millions of pounds to these companies, those companies, it seems to me, should be responsible for making sure the people in those hotels are not working and acting illegally. Have you had a response from the Home Office to this directly? Yeah, they've said that they take this very seriously indeed, that it deprives people in the UK of a job. Clearly, uh, these people are not also contributing to society. There are conservative estimates, Nigel, of 1.2 million people working in the black economy, the, the illegal economy in the UK, and a proportion of those <sighs> growing all the time are asylum seekers. That's 1.2 million people who are not contributing mm. to tax mm. or indeed to a national insurance. That's many billions of pounds that would actually be of benefit to this country that instead filters its way back usually to the families of these individuals back in their own countries. Well, I can't say I like the story because it drives me bonkers, as I'm sure it will many of our viewers and listeners who are paying their taxes, but well done, great piece of work. You've exposed the truth here. Keep it up. Mark White, thank you.